Okay, everybody, so we're back here with progress. So this is the bodysuit for Kerrigan. This is the leotard top that goes with the neck, and then I started on the sleeves. As you know, I did the same cocking effect. So if you look here, if you look here, you could see the little bit of bits. I had to paint over this part because there's a lot of problems there too. I actually used foam and made it attached to the hip. And I'm going to coat it later. First, I'm painting it with the mixture of all the paints. And as you can see, there's a lot of detailing to it. So if I get in close, you can tell. Um, this part got stuck to each other, so I have to go over that. That'll be fun. Um, here you can see a little bit of the inlay progress. It's going to be really exciting. I have to make gloves next. I have the pants, and I need to get more caulking. So it might look like this first, or it might be clear. I don't care. It's going to get painted over. I am running out of paint, though. Um, I ended up using the same bottle, and this is still the... Where is it? The... Uh, burgundy color. Why is that not... Why is that not focusing? Yeah. Burgundy. True burgundy. Yeah. By Folklore Paint. Damn it, what the hell? Bye. Folklore. No, folk art. Yeah, my mistake. So it's by folk art. And I mixed together the black and the other colors from the previous video. My boots are completely done. I sealed it with two coats of Mod Podge. Um, I have to be careful because of the Mod Podge. It, I don't know if it didn't firmly dry. But these are the finished boots. You can see the detailing here. Um, I wanted it to have a lot of taste and then I wanted it to pop so I added black filaments. This is the edging as you can see. I can't, I can't. I don't know. Um, these are the boots. So there's the detail. It has a little bit of glaze. I don't mind it. I should have got a non-gloss but it looks pretty cool in my opinion. You can see a little bit of dark spots, and then of course, I need to figure out a way to keep these back so they don't keep curling when I store them. Um, there was a slight little mishap. I let them fall over for a few days, and they ended up sticking to itself. Um, let me see if I can find an example on this boot. Oh yeah, here. So right here, you can see that it got stuck and I had to peel it off and it caused a rip on the paint. Just a little, it pulled it off somewhere else, so. I mean, it's not bad per se. Oh, wait, no, I might be able to take it off. <gasps> I did, so look, I just peeled off this little piece here that this looks awful. But I mean, I had to be really careful with it. And you can see the other details here. I wish I blended this a little bit better. Um, this is my first time really painting like this kind of level. Obviously, I'm learning a lot in this process. Ew, this turned out really nice. Like if I flip it, you can see there's just a bunch of detailing and it gives it a really organic look. I gobbed um, the paint a little, not paint, but Mod Podge and so you can see like a little bit of foamy excess. I believe that the the swarm, the zerglings, and all them have a little bit of a sheen to them since they're kind of slimy looking. And then you can see the boot. Then the heel. So, you know, she wasn't this giant nesty thing, so come on. And those are the boots. The boots are done. I'm thinking about keeping the laces. I'm not 100% sure why not. Oh, that's a great view of the boot uh, detail right there. Looks like she has got scraped. Well, bitches, it looks like it, and it will be. Pretty excited. Those are the finished boots. Far away, they just look gray. But up close, I gave it some new personality in life. Now, I didn't want to make the toes on the feet, because I just, I just think toes are funny looking. Like, this toe on my right foot got hurt really badly. No, this is my left foot. Sorry, I can, I can do that. Um paint everywhere and stuff and getting it all over my feet too. That's great. No, this was from Kitty Katarina. The shoes broke and ended up giving me a bruisey. I haven't finished healing and yeah. Another random tidbit. I was doing a kick in martial arts class, taekwondo class to be exact. 
and I fell and it's broken. So this is not for the screamish. Like you shouldn't be able to do that. So if I go to my other baby toe and I try like moving it, yeah, you're not supposed to be able to do that. So that, so, to this, like, yeah, that didn't heal right. But my toes are still okay. Yeah. Toes. Okay, anyways. Yeah, so I'm just going to be waiting for this to dry. I did paint the back a little bit. Um, I'll let you know what it looks like. I'm using the same material for the pants. This is really breathable and stretchy. Like, I've already tested stretching it. And when I do stretch it with the paint, like, it's fine. Which is ironic, but if there is any stretching, cracking going on, that would be perfect. And I was hoping that would happen, but if I seal it with Mod Podge while I'm wearing it or on the figure dress form, we'll see what happens. Anyways, thanks for following. I hope you like my progress for Kerrigan. I have gotten a lot done. Next video, maybe I will show you this fully colored or not, or how I'm coloring it. Not sure, but there's all my paintbrushes in a cup now. I'm a genius. And a little bin. Yay. Always remember, keep putting newspaper down underneath while you're painting, regardless of what you're working on. You should always have some new paper. Thanks, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.